Now that we have the overall plan for this essay prepared, we're ready to start the opening paragraph. And this is the drafting portion of the writing process. We're going to take the plan and draft the opening paragraph. So I'm going to show you what I have done. And if you'll look in your workbook, you'll see that there are different ways that you can actually create these um, hooks. One's a sensory description, an emotional statement, statistic, short and memorable humor, anecdote, question, quote. All of those are different ways. And so I have listed a few different things that you could do in um, this particular essay that I'm writing about getting good grades, just to give you an idea of possibilities of those uh, hooks that can be used. But let's take a look now at my plan. My plan was that I was going to say something about class, class clowns get noticed, all right. Goofy golf in class can be a cry for help. That's my transition, because I'm going to start with that broad hook and then grab my, my audience's attention and then moving into some introductory statements. And that's the channel that I'm going to use to get to my thesis. And then obviously my thesis is earning good grades in school is important and easy to do. So I color coded these for you because I want you to be able to see what that transition looks like. In blue here, I have my scenario that I'm going to use as my hook. Then I'm going to talk about that hook in um, or that scenario in my transition. And then I put this sentence here in brown, and I'll explain to you why in just a minute, because it's an even another pivotal point that's bringing me then to my thesis, which is in black here. So let's read it together. Every parent and student is likely familiar with this class clown scenario. Joe interrupts class. Joe makes a comical or irrelevant statement. Joe Cool smiles charmingly. Joe Cool gets giggles from his classmates and then a scolding from his teacher. Now, I think I would, I have Joe, but I think I'm, I would change that to Joe Cool for every single one of those because it kind of gives a little rhyme to it. Um, and then notice how I did the scolding from my teacher to try to stop this story without being, um, could just continuing on and on and on. So the scolding is the stopping point. Then I'm going to tra transition to tying this to this, and here's how I do that. While this seems like a lighthearted glimpse into a typical learning environment, Joe could actually be overcompensating for his lack of understanding or his lack of work ethic when called on to complete a task. In fact, Joe's clown antics could be a sign of other concerning issues, which could mean that Joe Cool goofs off in class because he really needs help. Now, notice that the really needs help, that's going to be the catalyst that propels me down to getting good grades, the, you know, needing help, and that's typically, or that's specifically, that's what this whole essay about uh, is about, is how to get good grades, and everyone needs help with that. And then my transition from, from here to here is this sentence. Luckily, there are a number of things all students can do to help themselves do better in school. So notice now I'm talking about things to do to do better in school, another broad statement, but then that pr brings me right to my thesis. Getting good grades in class is important, and it can be done easily if students apply basic strategies that A students already know to do. So I expounded on that thesis just a little bit by adding this extra information here at the end. But my point in color coding this and actually putting it on the board and teaching from it is that I want you to see the transition. I'm starting with this opening story. I'm moving to why is this kid doing this down to, you know what, there's a number of ways that kids can do school, good, great students can do well in school and then bringing it straight down to my thesis. So you see that broad down, funnel down to the thesis by just reading that. And so what I'd like for you to do now is to use my example as a way to help you do exactly what it is that I have done. So obviously you're going to use your plan that you made for your opening paragraph and you're going to draft your opening paragraph from that plan. Now I would encourage you to do that on a sheet of paper, double space, so that you can revise well, or if you're typing it, make sure you double space it so you have a way to go back in and revise later because we'll come back to that. But go ahead and write, draft your opening paragraph from your plan 
And when you're finished, we'll come back and look at those body paragraphs.